It's the Goosebumps Horror Town 100th episode special! Yay! Every show likes to celebrate the fact it goes 100 episodes, it means it's successful, correct? So, with that in mind, let's go ahead and celebrate this moment occasion with a story about a decapitated child. Good evening everyone, welcome back to Goosebumps Horror Town playthrough. I did mention that this was going to come up, and I know you guys are expecting the squeezers. It's going to come up next, but I figured I might as well finish off everything with the ghost by mentioning a certain character that was mentioned during the uh, last few parts to the Let's Play uh, portion of this uh, game, and that is the f book you get at level 9, which is the Headless Ghost. Now this is one of those weird books that you are familiar with, but probably didn't even read, or did. the story is very convoluted in the most part. If I remember correctly with how the story goes, it's like there's this weird hill house that's, you know, haunted. Apparently it was built by a sailor for his wife and then he went off to sea and died and then she died and then some kid moved there and he was a brat and he was a bit of a trickster and uh, all that stuff and then the ghost cut his head off which is weird and then and then that kid the headless kid took other people's heads off and used them for theirs because he couldn't find his own head which was hidden by a high secret wall and it just it's just so stupid and convoluted and then don't get me started on the episode the episode was bizarre like the the girl character was getting herself stuck in the painting and it's like oh i'm gonna turn you into a ghost with everyone it's just so it's like what the hell rl why did you make this convoluted story anyways tonight we're gonna be taking a look at the character associated with this the premium character andrew craw aka the headless ghost he is associated with the graveyard scene, and uh, it was interesting too because this is the story about Andrew Craw, and as I mentioned before, this is actually going to be him associating with Marty. And this is a weird character because this is the only character as of now that is very hard to see because he's translucent like they got the ghost effect pretty well but it's so hard to see him you'll see what i'm talking about during the playthrough here and this part is going to be interesting because for the most part i think i've gotten everything i can that's associated with this character as of right now which i'm going to show off and um before I do that, I might as well talk about the artwork here. The original by Tim. It, uh, it's very interesting the way it looks. I actually like the whole... It almost like looks like an a, uh, exotic painting that you would see back in the, the old days. So that's kind of nice. And then you get the modern new one that came out like in 2018 for the film. And it's like, oh, ooh, spooky surfer dude, Kawabunga. And I guess... It tries to, again, emulate from Tim's work, but has its own spin, and I get what they're trying to do here, but I can understand when people are like, eh, I don't like it, but whatever. But again, let's talk about, quick before we start, let's do the international releases, because I know you love those stuff. I didn't talk about the international releases for the other t Let's Play books, because I, I just wanted them to go through, and you know, you, you, can, you can look at them yourself if you're very interested, but... For this, uh, uh, for every individual book, that'll be different. So, here's the version for French version. And, uh, yeah, very disturbing of holding the shrunken head, but it's a skull with what looks like bony hands. Hold It's, it's weird and bizarre how they design it there. Speaking of bizarre and spooky boniness, uh, Japan looks something like this, and... I think their design was going more for the um, the ghost pirate that or the captain of the book that they talk about. And it's not really the headless ghost, but it's 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 interesting how they take the aspect of the story and actually portray it as what's going on versus how they kind of Tim just does a uh, a vague reading, but. You know, it's whatever it is. Uh, another interesting one I wanted to show off 
was a, a Persian one. This is the first I ever seen something like this, and it looked something like this. It's very bizarre, it's kind of hard to see, but I guess it's some weird creepy head laying on a, a sciency table, and it's very chromomatic, so if you are colorblind, this is going to be a terrible book for you. I don't know why they decided to pick it in this bluish kind of tint, but whatever. And the last book is this one here in the Dutch region. And I guess what they're trying to do is the two characters there, which I believe was uh, Duane and um, Scarlet, I think her name was, in going into the Hill House here. And uh, yeah, that's that's really about it for this book. I'm really much interesting when it comes to the whole thing characters. Is this a weird? I just remember watching the the episode based off of it, and it was vaguely based on the book near the end, and I'm just like, what is going on here? This is so stupid. But anyways, you're interested about with this character. Well, this character is probably, for last I checked, 250. And uh, when in this playthrough, I'm going to be taking a look at his quest line, uh, a quest that's associated with him to getting the ectoplasm, uh, most of his animation quests as of right now, and everything else to do with the character. And I will be also talking that they did design a, uh, a certain profile for Andrew, which I thought this could have been good for him to have. This is probably like, they should have had this as the character and then his ghost form would be the animation, but I don't know why they didn't do this. I'll talk about this when it comes up, but it's a very interesting anime, uh, not animation, but very interesting profile picture that is not being utilized to its fullest. So I don't know, maybe in the future they might update it with a patch of life thing and kind of fix that. They've done that before with other characters, so I'm not, I'm not going to be surprised, but anyways, I talked long enough, let's just jump right into the gameplay. So, sorry, before I do that, uh, just a quick note, you're going to have different gameplay footage being shown off, some from my mobile device, the other one here, most of it is going to come from the tablet, so you're going to have borders and switching things so if it looks very weird that things are just changing all over the place just note that these are being recorded by different other things to try to give this one narrative so just keep that in mind i talked long enough let's dive right in shall we so we start off the game by collecting some uh, goopy things here and as you can see the creepy graveyard uh one of the things is needing to get andrew craw you need 250 which i have enough so we're going to get his mansion, which is a very creepy old abandoned mansion, which I do like the design of it, especially the spooky blue glow that they got going on here. So we're going to purchase this, have the building be built, and soon enough, we click on the button here in just a minute, right now. All right, Andrew Craw, let's take a quick look at the ghost boy. Here we go. What's interesting, too, is that before anything else, Andrew Craw looked very bizarre. He looked something like this and before. But yeah, it's weird. Anyways, this is the Headless Ghost. This is how much it costs here. The five stories. This is the, the statue, which I'm going to go into depth in a bit. But anyways, let's dive into the story. Many years ago, Andrew Craw was a brat who loved making practical jokes. Everyone thought that one day he might come to his senses. Instead, he continued making mischief even after his head was cut off. <laughs> I wonder how many cats I'll have to throw until one of them lands on his back. Throw cats off the roof, place a book, a return box, and damage property of the library. So this one, he drops, here's some designs, mess up the library, laboratory, disorder the library shelves, make a fright night visit, search for missing head, do the spin head trick, discover new life form, or new, discover new forms of life. I'm going to go look more depth next time for later on. But anyways, let's take a quick look at his one first animation, which is throwing cats off of the, uh, and don't worry, they're dead cats, so it, it's a, it's all good. They already lost their nine lives, so he's just... This is an animation I showcased before in probably other parts, but you get to see it right here. This is where it originally came from. I think originally it was just a normal cat, but then they changed the blue just to fit with uh, 
you know, it is very bad to see a ghost throwing a real cat off the roof, but, it, you know, ghost cat, nah, that's fine. But yeah, anyways, as you can see here, you need the book return box in order to do this, which is the damage property animation, which is interesting because all it is is the animation of writing something on the, um, on the tree, except they just decided to do it on here, on the book stuff here. And again, the animation like that makes sense for uh, this kind of story. So let's go down here. There you go. For 21 minutes, going to damage property. I wonder what he's going to do exactly. Is he going to sketch something on there? Is he going to draw with a marker? Or is he going to actually just take a knife and just kind of scratch into it like an animal? All right, let's just get myself close here and let's see how it looks. There it is. He's just stabbing the thing. That's nice. What a, what a great character that Marty is. Lucy's walking by and not giving a care. <laughs> Mortman has no idea what's going on. But these two characters are going to have something very close and associated with one another. But yeah, time passes and both these characters are done. So we're going to continue on with their story. And see where things lies ahead and what brings forth. Hey, what are you doing? That's property of the public library. I don't know why he's so mad. Who's just giving these boring mailboxes some style? Get out of here. I know who you are, Marty Ricardo. Next time I see you around here, I'll call the police. Alright, old man. I'm out of here. Some people just can't appreciate an artist when they see one. Oh, an artiste, eh, Marty? <laughs> I was just giving this boring mailbox some style. That, that was a good, good one. one. That, that young Marty Ricardo has got something going on. on. I, I like, like him. him. But, but that librarian like is a total grump. grump. He, he has, has no right, right to treat Marty like, like that. that. I, I think I'll pay a visit to that killjoy Mortman tonight. You're me one, Mr. Grump. So, disorder the library shelves for five hours will give you that. And, oh, hey, look, 15. And, look, it's Dr. Brewer and his house, which I've already talked about before. So, I ain't going to bother with that. But, if you're curious, here you go. I also sprinkle in some of the um, Horror Town Life stuff, like I'm about to do here with Slappy. So, here's what this sounds like. You disappoint me, Blair. I thought we had agreement on a mutual collaboration patch. Do you expect me to do everything on my own? Why don't you put your boys to work? Why haven't you all friends come through or dug up some ghouls? It invokes the wrath of Andrew Craw, or at least the ghost town if necessary. But get going! Reach a scarometer, spawn the ghost town from its tomb. Yeah, so that's just one of those improving the life cycle kind of deal, so I can do that anyways for now. But anyways, let's continue on with the story. Let's see what happens. What happened here? Someone moved all the books! It's not a disaster! It will take me all week to put everything in order. Ah! Maybe more than should read a self-help book and learn to control his temper. <laughs> Watch this. Hey, Tubby, what's going on? Have you seen Marty? Oh, what is this slick greaser doing here? Who is this guy? This is actually Andrew Cross's human disguised form. Why haven't you used this as the main character walking around? My name is Dustin, thank you very much. But Marty's in detention. Aw, oh, poor Dustin being called Tubby again. In detention? What did he do now? They found Eric Tyson inside a locker and accused Marty of putting him in there. Marty said he tried to convince him not to get in the locker, but Eric insisted on getting inside. Thanks, kiddo. You go run along now. Yeah, that Eric, man, he just wants to go in the lockers and Marty was just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Man, you gotta look at that smug face that this kid has. Anyways, go to detention. For both of them, we're going to go to detention. But, yeah, they actually designed a human disguised form. And I actually liked the way it kind of looked. It's weird because in his ghost form, it gives his old Victorian era. And yet, his human form here gives it a 50s greaser look that you see 
uh, like, you know, come on, come on, tell me boy, or tell me girl, tell me girl type of s stuff, but let's continue on with the story, let's, let's go, go, go. It sucks being locked up. I think Mrs. Marr should have to pay for sticking us in detention. I agree. Because of her, I missed my shift in the grocery store. That's gonna cost me. Hey, Marty, I got an idea. Do you want to hear it? it? It's about that troll, Mrs. Marr, I'm all ears. A friendship between Marty and Andrew? This story will have my kind of ending. A very bad one. Ooh. It, it, huh? Not if? Look, here she comes. You ready, Marty? You bet I'm ready. She's gonna regret putting us in detention. Alright, quiet. She's close. Remember to say boo as loud as you can. Understood, Marty. Let's do this. Scare Mrs. Marr. They're both gonna scare Mrs. Marr. And this is funny because he's in his ghost form, so this is kind of dumb. But it's like... Is he not aware of him actually being a ghost with no head? It's it's so stupid. And yeah, like in the story and in the in the episode, he had some Andrew Craw had a human esque disguise, and then it turned out that like the head he was using wasn't his real head. It's kind of creepy when you think about it. Like, what did he take someone else's head off? He's like, well, I need your head now, cause I lost mine. Like, it's just so, it's so bizarre, man, but, you know, it's what it is, and, yeah, I'm gonna try to get myself a very, cl uh, good close-up here so that you guys can see, uh, Mrs. Mar getting spooked by the bully and, uh, the ghost. Here it is. Oh, oogity boogity. Spooky stuff, man. Anyways. Yeah, so they're just gonna go around and have fun with that. Yeah, it's just so weird how everything just kind of lays itself out here and the the whole quick fire stuff it's coming close soon because a few minutes later they're both done and we're gonna continue on with the story. <laughs> we sure scared that evil tempered old woman. Teamwork for the win. High five. Teamwork high five. I've been waiting forever to get Mrs. Marr what she deserves. Come on, let's go to the arcade and play some Street Hoop X. Uh, sure, I don't know what that is, but let's go. This is gonna end well. Andrew, I think you need to work on your shooting if you want to win a game. I'm not just good with the modern technology. I don't understand it. But I can do a trick like a real basketball player. Do you want to see it? Sure, show me your real-life hoop skills. I'll do you one better, Marty. How about he shows you a uh, interesting trick, which is spinning his head on his, with his finger. If you think the Globe Trials got something, nah, you don't see anything with this kid. Like, watch this skill. When the game stops lagging, let's just get a quick look here. I'm gonna try to... No, not the Monster Diner. Come on, here we go. Oh no! Oh, a spooky ghost! Here, here's what it looks like. Man, look at that skill. It's running that ball. I'm surprised he even knows what basketball is. But hey, you know, he's just he's doing this trick. All he's doing is just showing, like... You know what? No, when I think about it now, that must be, like, very sickening to him. He must be like, oh. Oh man, that's... Ooh, ooh, I get queasy by looking at this. This... Round and round, you spin me right round, baby, right round, like a record, baby, right round, 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 or whatever stupid song you could think of that uh, is something going around the world. I, I wish I could do stuff like that, but copyright, man. The only way to get around that is to, is really just to lower down the speed or pitch and all that stuff. Anything to try to make the... YouTube robot not realize that you're listening into like, oh, what's this? A record company's label? Oh, what? You you sneezed? Well, wow, that belongs to us, buddy. But yeah, as you can expect, Marty's not real happy with this uh, new endeavor that his friend is actually a ghost whose head is decapitated. So let's see how this final thing ends. Hey, Marty, don't run away. Didn't you like my trick? Ah, help! A ghost has spun his head on his finger! Get away from me, you freak! 
No! You get away from me, Marty! I thought you were different, but you're like everyone else! We could have been best friends, but you turned out to be the worst! Go away! Poor Andrew. It has become really hard to make new friends since he lost his head. Da, 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 da. Aww, poor Andrew. What a great ending. It's like they used to be friends, but not anymore after Andrew just screwed it up again. Anyways, that's the story. You get your cash and your bucks and your points and yep. And this is what's required in order to get the Headless Ghost statue. Pencil cases, which I got. Some of the uh, ectoplasm and all that stuff. And here's the thing. When you have Andrew Craw, that item stuff is going to be easy to grab. Like, the just have him do the Sordian shelves and you're all good to go when it comes to that. Like, even the whole make a Fright, uh, fright Night visit here. Uh, searching for all that stuff. Yeah, it's just, it's a typical thing. But what I'm going to show you is one of the animations that's not shown in the quest, which is losing his head. And this is what it looks like. It's simply him just bumbling around trying to find where his head is because, God forbid, he's just that dumb. He doesn't know what he's doing, unfortunately. Where did he lose his head? You know, that's that's the how the whole ghost should be. It's just not his head where his, like, you know, in his arm thing. But no, it's just him just walking around not knowing where he is. Anyways, this is, um, at the end of the day, this was just taken during the Christmas update of this year. Just want to quickly show you, this is where I got most of my setting stuff for this whole area to look like. A close-up on the statues I didn't get to show during my other playthrough, and then this is just the whole look. I actually like how I set everything up here. Anyways, here's a qu another quest. Hey, Andrew. Sorry I was in the back and didn't hear the door when you came in. I just went through the ball. Tell me, do you happen to have a needle for this one? Victrola, brother the planet. Needles for a Victrola? No, I sold the last one I had last week. Hey, don't put your head on the counter. I'm sorry, Thanks, I'll come back up in the time. Sure. That headless boy is staining the whole counter. Now I have to clean it up. Get ectoplasm and sell ectoplasm. So this animation quest it pops up once you're done with the attack of the graveyard ghouls. And it's like the other quest where they as ask you to get um, a certain item. But I'm going to figure... I, I already showed you the zombie, so I'm not going to bother with that. But what I am going to show you is what Andrew Craw looks like when he's in his animation form spooking everybody. So, you get a good look close up to see how this whole thing looks, and you know, it's 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 nothing too special. You've seen this before, so it's like, yeah, what, whatever. It's whatever, man. It's what you can expect. And he's very hard to see. I can't see where he is, so I don't know why people are so scared of him if he, if he blends into the background. Like, even from far away, it's like, where the hell is he? Oh, there he is. Floating away. Oh man, oh spooky. Anyways, that's what his animation looks like. Eventually though, as you can expect, I eventually got this. Not with the help of Andrew, I believe. This was during, yeah, so I didn't get Andrew at this point. So this was not with Andrew, but yeah, eventually I got myself the ectoplasm. And I got that, I got, I got the gnome pipe as well, but you know. And now I'm going to sell this stuff, and this is what happens here. Let's see. This disgusting fluid has to have some commercial value. Authentic ectoplasm from the actual nose of Helen Duncan from 1928. I wonder what the face of the first person who asks to buy this disgusting swirl will look like. What a weird question to ask there, eh, Seder? Also, there's this. When you count up the trinkets I buy from these children and sell them as real spy gadgets, and the resale of that disgusting food that monsters consume as an authentic delight, this city has become the most profitable one I've ever lived in. I'll just hope that I do not have to escape as I have done from the previous ones, but I think I'm safe for now. Oh man, Seder, what are you telling me? He's You're running from the IRS? Oh, oh dear. 
So yeah, this one says five fifteen thousand coins. So that's a selling stuff, I guess. But yeah, what a weird like what a weird characteristic for Seder is like him just hiding from the law. What? Why is he hiding? By the way, what what is he doing? The only thing I can think about is that him just simply not bothering paying his taxes. And um, yeah, these are all the other animation stuff that he has as of right now to this date. And I figured I'll end it off with something that I really liked, the fact that they added to this game. And uh, something that I think fits very well. And that is uh, him thinking on life. And how does he think on life? Well, apparently he thinks on life by resting his head on this. And watching it just fall to the ground. Like the sad person he is. What a poor, poor, miserable child this kid is. Oh, man. But anyways, uh, here's what it looks like once you get everything here. 100%. Yay. So this is what the statue looks like. It looks pretty decent. I do like how they designed the thing where it's like spooky blue ghost spirit stuff. But at the same time, you also see the decapitation head of the statue just on the floor there. It kind of fits it very well. And, uh, yeah, and also I'm going to end it off with this special that came out of nowhere. Yeah, so th that's pretty much all I can think about when it comes to Andrew Craw, the Headless Ghost, all that stuff as of right now. The problem when it comes to this game, as you probably have noticed, is, like, things change almost all the time. The fact is, like, that animation quest got added into the game. Things change. Things are, like, premium, but then they're not anymore. It's kind of hard for me to do. So, looking back on some of this stuff here, it may look like this for now, but I don't know. Maybe when you watch this video and if the game's still out there, you play through this quest line, and all of a sudden the quest line's totally different from when you saw this video. That's the thing about this game. Because it's an online, it always changes, it always updates, so it's hard for me to kind of keep up with everything. I will try to keep as much as I can for every new update. I try to share with you anything that's new added to the game or changed. But other than that, you know, I'm a human being. I have to live. <laughs> I have to live, man. I gotta, I gotta go through all this stuff, man. But, yeah. Oh, man. So, 75... Not 75, but 175 people are watching me right now, subscribe to me. And that's really surreal for me to say. Because I believe when I first started this, I was barely, like, 100. And now I'm getting close to 200. So, I might be growing... Some, who knows? Maybe next year I'll be at 1,000. That's, like, really, really uh, very weird for me to say i don't think that's ever gonna happen but if that does really happen then i'm gonna have to play this clip and be like well shit i was right but yeah that's andrew craw in a nutshell that is the headless ghost quest line let me know what you think down below if you liked what you saw thumbs up subscribe all that good stuff and uh yeah so this is considered the 100th video that's very weird to me. I did not believe I've made a hundred videos of this. And, like, some videos are, like, hours long, like, movie length. And, yeah, it's it's very interesting to see how I ended up going through this game and getting as much as I did. And we'll be interested to see how 2020 shapes up. But the next video you're about to see, hopefully, if everything goes right, is I'm going to work on the... Uh, the body squeezer revolution thing that happened in November. And then it should look at the, uh, finish on finishing off by then, uh, the Christmas update I got involved with should be finishing. So I'd be able to do a video on the last two parts there, as well as the final collection. I'm kind of holding off the collection until the game fully resets on everything and there's no, like, limited time stuff because I feel like if I do that, it might be weird, like I've stated before. And for that video, I might be more... I don't know. I'm going to debate. I'm going to try to keep up to date when I can, but 
be on the lookout for those things and before I'm able to continue on with all the other quests I got here it's it's going to be weird but like like I have now I have to do the blob the cheese and die be careful what you wish for uh, cre uh calling all creeps scarecrow walks at midnight in the black ring in order to fully be 100% with all the books caught up so it's going to take me a while to get all that stuff done but uh, it should be hopefully a little bit more better now but we'll have to wait and see and um yeah and then there's also four other uh quest lines I did but I can't really do anything yet because I'm waiting for the books to be officially released cuz I know they exist. I seen the statues of them. They they exist. I'm waiting for the quest lines to be official, man. So maybe we'll see in January, maybe we won't, who knows. But until then, uh hopefully you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoy your new years and I will be seeing you in the new year, I guess by this point because when this video comes up it might be the last day of December, so yeah, when uh, all that good stuff, I'm gonna end it right here. Blah 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 blah. Like the video, comment, slave, subscribe, all that good stuff. I've been Grim, and I'll be seeing you next year. And uh, be careful on certain ghosts because apparently they might end up decapitating you at the end of the day, and you don't want to do. No, you don't.